So, um, why did you come to this? Because we want to rock out. We love heavy metal. Why did I come to this? Because <laughs> my church is putting it on, that's why. You go to Sanctuary? Yeah. <laughs> South Bay. This is where all the rock stars, could you pan Mr. Cameraman? Pan over there. This is where we have all the rock stars eat their food. See, that's what's great about show business, they give you a lot of free food. This guy is in the deliverance. He sings. Hard to believe that, that God's word comes out of that mouth. Hey, get over here! I'm not here to tell you about how much Jesus loves you! Because you already should know that! He does love you! But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about me! See this shirt? I got this shirt from one of those guys. I made it better, don't you think? It's too hot for this coat. Oh, you like my hair? What's your name? Gina! Oh, hello, Gina! This is Gina! She's famous now. Isn't that great how that works? Now, how many people here know the Ten Commandments? One person. That's great. I'd ask you to come up here and recite it, but this is my time. All right, I'm going to read these to you. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That means don't worship anything except for God. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. That means like don't make statues and pray to them. Or like rock stars might be that. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God in vain. You know what that is? It's saying nasty words and putting God's name on it. So don't do that either. All right, wait a minute. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That means like veg out on Saturdays. All right. Honor thy father and mother. That means when your mom tells you to clean your room, don't tell her nasty words. Thou shalt not kill. That means like don't stab anybody with a knife. All right. Or, or a gun. You might not use a gun either. Well, anything violent against someone that kills them. So that's what you don't want to do there. God keeps turning the pages of the wind. Maybe he doesn't want me to read this. All right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Do we know what that means? That has to do with sex. I'm sure you all know what that is, right? Thou shalt not steal. That's why I'm giving everything I'm wearing back today before I leave. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Do you know what that means? It means don't lie! What's wrong with you? Thou shalt not covet. That means like, if you see something that like somebody has, you know, and it's not yours, don't, don't want it and don't take it away from them. Well, I'd just like to give, a great, I'd like to give uh, praise to God and thank, thank you all. I'd like to thank Bob Beeman and Bottom Line Records. Well, he's the rock, and as far as music goes, that's where we were called as rock music because before we were Christians, we were already playing that. And so it's probably preordained by God, I guess, to be that way. <laughs> I'm the drummer, I, and in Psalms 155, it says, praise him with the clash of cymbals. So that oh, definitely means clashing them, hitting them hard, not light. So He's not a wimpy. Look at these muscles. The <laughs> Bible says to go out into the world and preach the gospel, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rock as hard as anybody can rock and roll and show people that it doesn't matter what you look like. It, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where you've been. Jesus Christ can accept you the way you are right Amen. now. But it's, you must be born again. Yeah. Amen. I'd like to show you that, Mr. Cameraman. This is a great. These guys are praying, praying unto Jesus that he will anoint them as the musicians. It's a good thing to pray for. And that his God, God's word will like go out and people will like understand it. This kind of thing happens a lot when you come to Protestant gatherings. You know, one of the things that um, I think sums it up the best for us is we're happy about something. That's about being saved. We love heavy metal. Excellent way to share what we have to say is through our music. So, we're banned. I'm not a really rad guitar player, but I have two loud marshals. And let me tell you something, if you got a loud mar marshal and you don't play too good, you got it made. That's all you need. Loud! <laughs> right now, right now we are totally denying our flesh because Blood Good is on stage and I am itching to watch them. But we are enjoying being able to share with you guys.
Hey, we could have put this off. So what is your uh, what is your major goal for the band? I want one spokesman. Who would it be? I got that one. The major goal for Neon Crocs is to play in front of as many unsaved people as possible to present them with the gospel so these people receive God and receive his son and become saved and become in the kingdom of God. That's the main goal. It always feels wonderful when you're when your best friend is being glorified and lifted up, this is great. He's worthy. You know, you're one of the few bands I got to watch. You guys are great, by the way. I'd just like to, to tell you guys. You have to say that because we're. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> you guys, your show was really good, and those people really liked it. And I'm sure that God really moved through you guys. Because what are we, vessels, right? Praise right. the Lord. Well, Blood vessels. Okay, Sanctuary South Bay, man, the rad church of the 80s. Um, we're a church that caters to heavy metal kids that come to know the Lord through concerts like this and 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 I'm an associate pastor at the church and and man praise God man the Lord's opening up all kinds of doors to, to minister to these kids and I hope that we have a full service tomorrow because we really worked hard on this concert I think that that what we're doing although it's fun and and showy whatever you want to call it it's serious business also and that it's important that kids come to know the lord because it's life and death and it's spiritual death and and so it is serious in a way and we put it in a way that's understandable for some people and for some people they don't understand it but it's for for those who can relate to what we're talking about and and it's serious and coming to know the lord is is what life is about and we put it in a musical way and we have a good time and we want you guys to know that are watching this tape that what we're doing is is business also and that and that we mean what we say and we want you guys to know the lord because that's the way amen that's the way that life is lived hi this is pastor bob i'm the pastor at sanctuary i hope you enjoyed watching the metal mardi gras movie today we had a great time putting it on I just wanted to take a minute to tell you that we're here for you. We have a toll-free number that you can call from anywhere in the United States. The number is 1-800-548-5222. Please feel free to call us. Somebody is at the other end of the line all the time. Also, we'd love to have you write to us, and that address will be at the conclusion of this movie. We'd like you to get to know a little bit more about Jesus Christ if you don't know him already. And we'd love to send you some materials. I have a cassette tape that I recorded along with the Gospel of John. We'd love to send you that free of charge if you'd either write to us or call us. God bless you.